This is Galway on the west coast of Ireland. In 1124, the King of Connacht, Turlough o Cruhur, established a fort here. In 1232, it was taken by the Normans, who developed the area into a fortified town. In the 15th and 16th centuries, as a city loyal to the English king or queen, it was one of the most important trading centres in the British Isles. Now, it is a lively Irish town, the gateway to the Irish-speaking area of Connemara, a centre of the arts, and a thoroughly modern medieval city. My name is Maura O'Cronin, and here are some of my fellow members of the Galway Early Music Society Voluntary Committee. We organize the Galway Early Music Festival, which has been running annually since 1996. We've been privileged to welcome some of the best international musicians to Galway, musicians such as Andrew Lawrence King and the Harp Consort, Ifa Giulini, Quadrivium, Red Priest and Jordi Saval, playing medieval, renaissance and baroque European music. But the Gaelic area of the British Isles, Ireland and Scotland, had a highly developed music of its own. And we have always felt as an early music festival in Ireland that it is so important to highlight this music in the context of the European music contemporary to it. We are asking our friends and supporters all over the world to help us bring Coracle, an exciting, innovative and experimental Gaelic music trio, to the Galway Early Music Festival, May 17th to 20th, 2012. The members of this trio are independent performers who have been individually researching and performing their area of early Gaelic music. Glasgow's Barnaby Brown leads the modern revival of the Northern Triple Pipe, the organ of the Celtic Church, and a precursor of the bagpipe in Britain and Ireland. He also champions the art of Cantaracht, the mouth music of the Highland Bagpipe. Siobhan Armstrong was born in Dublin, lives in Ireland, and works as a freelance performer and teacher, mainly in Europe. She's equally at home playing 17th century Italian opera, performing on Hollywood film soundtracks, and gigging at the world's biggest traditional music festivals. Her greatest interest, however, is encouraging the revival of the early Irish harp. Rigor Lowry belongs to the well-known Lowry family of North Argyll and was immersed in his family's traditions from a young age. There have been numerous Gaelic singers, pipers and storytellers amongst his forebears on both sides of his family, and Gregor's father passed on the piping tradition to him. He is very proud to be keeping the dialect, singing and piping tradition of his people alive. Coracle brings together this group of outstanding musicians to recover early Irish and Scottish music that throughout its long history was handed down, for the most part, orally. Their approach to bringing it alive includes archaeomusical research, paleography, and reference to conservative surviving traditions around the world. With this approach, in the learned, energetic and entertaining hands of Barnaby, Siobhan and Grigor, a lost Gaelic world of great deeds sad laments and joyful celebration comes alive. As part of the Galway Early Music Festival, Coracle will perform on Sunday, May 20th. Barnaby Brown will also give a free public demonstration of Scottish Pipes and Triple Pipes on Saturday, May 19th. Even if you can't actually be with us at these events, you will be able to see the fruits of your generosity in a video featuring the concert that is being made to promote Coracle's work. We hope that you will support this exciting venture.